the Expo in Indianapolis. Uh, we have the regular Saka that everybody likes. Um, the great thing about the Saka is that you can pull the bungee straight off the top of the ascender. The reason that's important is because I'll put my multi-sender right here someplace and then I attach my Saka to where that multi-sender goes. That's the restriction to how high the uh, knee ascender can go is where that multi-sender is. And so to keep things out of my chest area and all that and to make it nice and clean, I like to have that come right off the top of the ascender. So you can adjust that bungee to whatever you like. If you want to put it mount sky high, you can do that. Um, but it's also very easy. If, for example, I just got this and I was going to try to see if that works, I go, oh yeah, you know what? That's just, that works perfect for me. Now I get all the step I need right off at the top of that. And then I'll take off this extra bungee and I'll cut it and I'll make it kind of my own and a little bit more compact. The other great thing about any of the sockets is that you can slip this open. There's a buckle right here. And so you can adjust the stride to whatever fits your need. If you want it a little longer, a little shorter, if you've got a child that's using one, you can shorten that stride up and make it very adjustable. So that's the regular socket. Now some people don't have any problem. They'll store it under their, under their leg. They'll store it around their back. They'll store it over the, all kinds of different places. Some people will just leave it hanging on their harness. But when they do that, sometimes it's like, well, you know, it's kind of getting in my way and it's hanging and stuff like that. So what we did is we came up with a foldable socket. And this foldable socket, the foot loop lives on my boot and stays on my boot. And so the foldable socket, hi Adam, the foldable socket, uh, now you just put the carabiner on there, you open it up, unfold it, and now it works just like, just like the regular socket. I can have, I can have enough stride coming right off at the top of the ascender. But when I'm done with it, what's great about it, and the and the stride is still adjustable, has a buckle in there. But when I'm done with it, I can fold it up like this. I take and I wrap it around the top, and I put it on the carabiner. Now this carabiner, and now it's very storable. So it lives. It lives on the back of my harness back here. And again, when, I, when I'm getting ready to use it, I just take it off just like this. I personally put it over this tab right there. It just makes a nice little connection. Depending on the length of your bungee, you might have to wrap it one time or two times or whatever you decide to do. But again, that unfolds like that, comes out and works like a regular socket. But it's just this easy to fold and put it away and I wrap that up I put it over that little latch we've got we've got this little captive eye on the top it goes like that again goes right on the back of my heart now we also have the footy and it's a traditional foot ascender um, one of the nice features that we've done with the footy is that most, almost every other ascender, most ascenders that I know of, in order to get this to release, they all have to be unweighted to get it off of the rope. But most of them, in order to release this latch, it has to push the cam in and then the latch can come open. Ours is built so that when you want to release this, you don't have to tighten it to release it. You just pull it past. It never goes tighter. It just comes off. So you can lock it open like that, or you can lock it closed so the rope doesn't come out. The other nice feature about this, this is a buckle that I've had built, and it's a cam type of a buckle. So um, with the cam right there, I built these shoulders on top of the buckle so that something doesn't bump on here and release it. But if you want to release it, for example, somebody gets stuck up there, or you get tired, or maybe you get yourself with a your foot is too high and you can't release your weight, you can push on that and just take the buckle right off. The way that I put this on, oh, and you can take this buckle and re-thread it through the ascender if you want the buckle facing one day, one way, or you can turn it around and have the buckle facing the other way. 
and the arch strap is also very adjustable and the ankle strap and the arch strap can be sold as replacements. So what I do when I'm getting ready to put this uh, foot ascender on is you'll put some of the uh, webbing through there and it's also very slip resistant. So I'll put it through there and I'll get it fairly close. Now we've also built this fair lead, if you can see through there. There's kind of a fair lead through there. And so now I take the tail and I'll put the tail through and then I'll snug this up a little bit on my boot and then I'll give it the final tug. And now with that fair lead, it keeps everything out of the way and I'll either take this tail and put it someplace else or just let it be where it is. But it makes for uh, a good ascender with the length of this. It gives it that lateral stability so it's not getting sideways when I step down on this really hard. And then it also, right there um, with the buckle, it just makes it really easy for me to push that button and take the whole thing off. And you can adjust this arch length and everything with this buckle right there. So that's the footy, the foldable Saka, and the regular Saka. Thank you.